What's up guys, it's T. Kyle here. Happy Saturday, happy weekend. I am hungover, how are you doing? Um, this morning I've got, uh, I switched it up. I still have Dunkin' Donuts. Not sponsored, still. Uh, I got iced tea this morning because uh, I just don't want coffee. You know, it's just a little, basically more refreshing. I don't know. So with that, I also have hash browns here because I'm starving. But yeah, so anyway, um, I'm hungover again. I wound up going out last night. Um, literally uh, went to dinner and was like, Ugh, I just, I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything. I'm tired. And then as it always happens with me, I have one drink and it's over and I'm out till four in the morning. But... It was so fun. It was, you know what? I have such a good time when I go out, honestly. I just literally dance and I don't give two flying shits about anything. I am such a good wingman. You know, if there's a guy at the bar that you want to talk to, I will make sure that it happens. And, you know, I'm basically a millionaire matchmaker minus the millions. So, that's all I'll say about that is that, you know, I made, I made some of my friends' dreams happen last night and they all went home happy. And I went home and had a veggie burger with one slice of cheese diet. So what do I want to talk about today? Oh, update on the apartment. Still have these bins back here that I need to get rid of. They were supposed to show up yesterday. They didn't show up. I put down a new rug here. I have a lamp coming. I have a nightstand lamp coming. I have furniture for in here coming. What else do I have happening? That's... Pretty much it. My bathroom's coming together. Everything's just coming together. Slow and steady. I'm investing a little bit more than I did in my last apartment. I uh, got new curtains. I have spent so much money in the past three weeks of my life. And you know what? It is worth. It has been worth. Every single penny. What is that Kim G quote? She's like, and it's all paid for. And I didn't scam anyone for it either. <laughs> Happy 4th! Do you guys know that video? Some of you guys know that video. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just like, it was worth every penny. I have no debt. I have no credit card. It, like, I don't have a credit card problem. Like, she's, you know... I... I am allowing myself to... What's, what's the term? Reap the benefits? Or like, not reap it. I'm so hungover. I'm like, you reap what you sow. You sow what you reaped. What the hell is the freaking saying? Basically, like, you let yourself live with... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, like, when you work hard and you save and you let yourself... You treat yourself, you, you know, or you, like, you take care of yourself and you, like, let yourself... You know, what, whatever. Anyway, the point is, I, since I was 14 years old, I've always had, at minimum, two jobs at all times since I was 14. So we are going on like 16 years of that. I've always worked, sometimes three jobs at a time. I have kept my money tight. I am always budgeted 12 months ahead of myself. She's got an Excel spreadsheet. I am very like planned I think about every I think about everything I plan through everything I document everything and I was like you know what I worked for this I earned this and it's not I don't feel cocky saying that because it's like the reason why I've been so meticulous with my budgeting and my planning and the reason why I worked so many jobs for so many years and just saved and saved and saved was to have a a nice home living space not like not this isn't like a home because it's not like a building you know what i'm saying 
But that's always been the reason why I've worked hard is because I've always wanted to have like a nice place to call home. And I love this new apartment. It is so quiet. It's been, so, well, as you guys hear a siren, but I have one of the windows open. But like, that, that's as loud as it ever gets. Like, there's no street noise. I sometimes hear the doors closing. And I sometimes hear my, my downstairs neighbor, their TV. But other than that, no more screaming school children all day. No sirens, no horns, none of that. No, no dogs, no people running above me. She is in the penthouse, bitch. I got no one above me. Oh, one second, I need a hash brown. Trisha is shaking. But anyway, so many of my friends who are older than me have always said, you know, once you get to your 30s, like things are so much better that like, you are just confident and you just feel more secure with yourself and you just you just feel like you're not trying to impress anyone and you just feel more grounded and you feel more confident. And for the first time, I'm like, actually, I feel like it's... I'm getting to that point. Like, do I think I'm the shit? No. Do I think I'm perfect? No, of course not. <sighs> Are you kidding, bitch? I was out last night freaking doing the Give Me More dance break on stage. Like, I'm a mess. I'm a fun mess, though. But I feel like as I get older, I'm just like, do I think I'm smart? Yes. Do I know that I work hard? Yes. Do I think that like I am talented? Yes, I do. I feel more comfortable saying that. I would not have said that five years ago. I would not have said that two years ago. I would have been. I'm. I. There's things in my life that are um, that I am becoming more confident with. Obviously, there are things that I'm still very insecure about, but I have some talents. I can budget well. I know I can work hard. I feel like I have a good heart. And I have good intentions and I'm not a snake. And so I, I'm just like, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like this whole, I feel like this this moving process and making this decision really did just give me a new found confidence in like being, being bold and being daring and taking a risk. And I don't know. Does that make any sense? Oh, I'm just so hungover, you guys. Oh my god. Actually, I'm not even really that hungover. I'm just, I need water. Like, I need, I need ice. I want to throw myself in my freezer and just sit there for like five hours. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like, I just want to swim in ice and just freeze for hours. I'm so, like, sweaty. Whatever. But that's kind of, I feel like I don't really have much to talk about because usually... When I do these weekend chats, I'm ranting about something. This week was pretty chill, honestly. Like, I, you know, I'm still not sleeping well. I will say that. Um, but I know that that's just a matter of getting used to the new place. You know, when I grew up, we lived by trains. And they were so loud. And, like, those train horns, you know, every hour. And I got used, you know, you get used to it. And you can sleep through the whole night and it won't bother you. Um, my one dorm was loud. Uh, pff, you know, my last apartment was fucking loud. But um, yeah, I'll get used to it. I'm thinking probably, you know, it'll just take like a month and then I'll be good. But yeah, I mean, it's usually pretty quiet here. And I'm still, my desk is, for the most part, my desk is set up. Uh, the computer set up. There's just like a couple things that are on the desktop that I'm like, I want to put out somewhere, but I don't know where. My bed is done. I got all new bedding. Went for a very minimalist approach. It's just like black with white pillows and then black accent pillows to like go over that. A blanket. That's it. It's like very like <laughs> clean. You know, I'm going for like a minimal... I just don't want a lot of stuff and I love like clean lines and just like open space and yeah, I'm excited. I'm doing, I'm, so my theme, let me show you guys. Oh, now that I'm like talking about it, let me show you guys. So the aesthetic I'm going for, the aesthetic I'm going for is 
minimal, modern, black and white, monochromatic, like, like monochromatic, you know, whatever. I have not decided on like a pop of color. I think it's going to be this color, this, this teal. I don't know where else I'm going to put it. I love this blanket, but basically, actually my fucking, it's literally this blanket is my color scheme. Gray, white, black with teal. Um, so I'm going for minimal. And then I also want to throw in like earth textures so one of the things I got was these like slate coasters this is water whatever but like I got slate coasters you know it's clean modern one color but it also has like a really nice texture to it so I got these coasters and then um I'm also getting these uh black lamps and I'm gonna try and do like Edison bulbs like old school New York you know throwback industrial like that kind of like pipe texture mixed with rock and I don't know that's kind of what I'm going for um I have my bamboo I'm gonna get a new um I want to get a new vase for my bamboo that is like uh I don't know either like a wood or slate I don't know that's what I'm going for it's like mod earth retro moment of whatever gay mm -hmm. that's a new theme new aesthetic but yeah so that's that and uh, what else is going on let me just you know oh oop, kick my camera let me just kick i've got my britney bitch shirt on because i'm you know trash what else is going on in my life uh there's no boys i men are canceled in 2018 uh we're not talking to any men ever um again and, and that's not like me being bitter about anything. I'm just like, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm really not. Like, I literally do not care about men at all. I'm, she's got a new apartment. She worked for it. This is mine. I literally paid for this in cash. I, my, my, my money's good. My job is good. My health is, I'm kind of eating bad again, but I, whatever, I'll get it back together. You know what? This is my moment. I'm going to be 30. And is that our, is that obnoxious of me to say that? I don't think it's obnoxious. Because I see so many of my friends who, like, get in relationships and they lose themselves, you know? Or they, granted, some of my friends, like, have really good relationships and it's, like, amazing to watch. But for the most part, I see, like, so many of my friends that are just, like, trying to impress people and they're trying so hard to, like, be somebody that they're not or, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to my poster that is now relocated. She's back on my new door. Um, you will find, what does it say? Fuck. Oh my God. Can I not read that? Oh, am I losing my eyesight? Oh. oh, right. Okay. Got it. If you were, oh my God, I already forgot. If you are looking for the love of your life, stop. They will be waiting for you when you start doing the things that you love. And that's what I'm going to focus on this year is focusing on myself. And I don't think that's bad. I feel like, I feel like so many people don't do that. And as I gear up for my 30th birthday, she's got a new apartment. She's got a job. I need to lose a little bit more weight. My... 13 pounds is what I'm going for because I carry all my weight in my like midsection. So I need to just, I need, as I said here with hash browns that I'm staring at, uh, I need to like just tighten it back up because I fixed my liver and I don't want to like have that problem again. Whatever. You know what? And that's that. And if I find a man on this journey, then so be it. It will be meant to, it will be meant to be if I find a man on this journey, but I'm not going out looking. I do have two crushes though so you know the things are things are still working she's just not looking okay <laughs> my heart is somewhat in function but isn't having a crush so fun like it's just fun right whatever so that's pretty much it um for my life my life chronicles of 2018 um also now that everything is coming together and I have lived through, a, I've survived my first week here. 
I can record during the day. Like, I totally can. I, um, there's really no noise. And so I was like, the, the wheels of the, the mind were turning on what I can do. I want to do a favorites video that I need to catch up on, which I will do this week. And then I really think I can do gameplay videos. I, you know, I need to just get my mic over there. And then I kind of want to do, I really want to do the Sim series that I, because I feel like it's, I have these ideas for characters that I just have, you know, like where, like what am I going to do? Just make a TV show? Like, no, I, she don't have that kind of money. So I was like thinking about it. I'm like, I literally could just make these characters in The Sims and just talk shit and play The Sims. So um, that's on the horizon. Also, what else was I going to do that I was thinking about? Oh, I also, at dinner last night, we were talking about my drunken video that I posted like years ago where I was like kind of trolling a little bit. Um, I want to like repost that and then do a reaction video to it. I also want to bring back my drag performance video. You know what? She's just going to go for it this year. Uh, there's a lot on the horizon. I also kind of want to do a video that's, um, or maybe a series once a week. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of what I do here. That is like, that touches on current events because I, you guys, I, a year ago, I used to be, I used to be so, I watched everything on Bravo nonstop. I was just like, you know, what's it called? Lowbrow the house girl. Shout out to Rich Lux who, his new videos have been inspiring me to like come up with new stuff. But a year ago, I was watching all this lowbrow nonsense all the time. Now, I am basically want to be a lawyer. I am so obsessed with reading tweets from lawyers, scientists. I'm just like MSNBC, CNN. I'm like obsessed with Rachel Maddow, obsessed with Joy Reid, everything. I'm like so into it. I'm like shoulder deep into all this stuff. I've learned so much. I started reading a book the other day about law. Who the fuck am I? Whatever, you know, I'm just, um, you know, well-rounded. I can, I can speak in lawyer terms and then I can talk in Stan Twitter language, you know? I just switch. So yeah, um, I just, it, things are happening. As I get this situated and as like things you know, all the, all the moving parts come together. Then I can start, you know, whatever. Um, like I have a delivery coming today. Um, I think. Yeah. I have a delivery coming today. Uh, what else? I have to, oh, I have to do laundry because some skank poured an entire beer all over my, my jacket last night. She was just like, uh, and like poured all over it. So I got to do that. But anyway, it is also so much more comfortable sitting here on my couch like this. You know what else I feel like right now? Do you guys ever see that commercial where the girl is like deflated on the couch and she's just like, mood. That's how I feel right now. I could I could fall asleep right now. What if I just fell asleep and then posted like a, a two hour video of me, just me napping for two hours? Quality content. Okay, so that is all for this weekend chat today. I'm sorry that it's not crazy and like there's nothing really dramatic going on. But uh, you know, I'll keep you guys updated as things progress and as I just tie up every loose end and you know, I got to call this company about setting, you know, get these freaking bins out of my apartment. Um, you know, just all the pieces coming together. Got a busy work week next week. So um, I know that I always say like, oh, I'm going to do this video and oh, I'm going to do this video and I'm going to, oh my God, I'm totally going to do this video. But like I, after finishing and surviving one week in this apartment, I 100% can film during the days on Fridays, like I can, I can film my weekend chat now 
either day because it's just quiet. There's no more screaming children next to my window. Like you, it's so weird. It's almost like, it sounds weird that I'm, I'm having trouble sleeping because it's so quiet, but it was like that noise of just like screaming was it like, it just was so consistent all the time, every single day that I not having that was like weird, but it's fucking glorious. Oh my God. Thank you guys again for watching and for hanging with me and for sitting and shaking your tits with me on this Saturday morning. And, uh, I will see you guys soon with a new video. I believe I'm going to film my favorites video on, is it Monday? No, we have a crazy work week next week. Um, so I don't know if, where's my calendar? There was like one day I thought I could do it. Wednesday, I think I can do, no, I can't, just kidding. Oh my God, I literally, yeah, next week I have two 12 hour shifts. So, um, it's going to be a, a little bit of a, a long week and a little exhausting week. She got to pay the bills. She got to pay the new bills for everything that I want to do here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye guys. It's Brittany, bitch. Shake your tits. Dunkin' Donuts.